Welcome back to AI Joyful Discoveries. Today we're diving into an epic AI showdown, Llama 3.1 on your own machine. We're all familiar with ChatGPT4 and Gemini, but what exactly is Llama 3.1? How does it stack up against these AI giants? Let's listen to the announcement from Zucker. Llama 3.1, and we're releasing three models. Um, the first time we're releasing a 405 billion parameter model, um, so it's by far the most sophisticated open source model that that I think anyone has has put out, um, and it, and it really kind of is competitive with some of the leading closed models, and in some areas is even ahead. So I'm really excited to see what people do with that. Which one is right for you? Let's break it down. Round one: privacy and control. Llama 3.1, the undisputed champion. Your data, your hardware, zero snooping. GPT-4 relies on OpenAI's servers. Convenient, but data privacy is a concern. Google's data collection practices are well known. Need we say more? Round two, accessibility and cost. Llama 3.1, local, free to use, but requires a beefy computer, especially for larger models. GP subscription-based, powerful, but those monthly fees add up. Gemini, likely subscription-based, pricing TBD. Google's vast resources give it potential power, but at what cost? Round three, power and capabilities. GPT-4, currently considered the most powerful in text generation, reasoning and versatility. Gemini, the newcomer with big promises, early reports suggest strong multimodal capabilities, text, images, code. Llama 3.1, very capable, especially the larger models. Performance can vary depending on your hardware. Round four, customization and openness. Llama 3.1 local, open source with some restrictions. Great for tinkering and fine tuning. GPT-4, closed system, limited customization. Gemini, cloud, details are scarce, but likely to be tightly controlled by Google. The verdict, it depends. Prioritize privacy and control, go local with Llama 3.1. Need the absolute cutting edge power no matter the cost? GPT-4 or Gemini might be your jam. On a budget and love to tinker, Llama 3.1 offers amazing potential. It's more affordable to run. We all love the convenience of online AI tools like ChatGPT. But lately, we've seen the downsides, server overloads, frustrating wait times, and growing concerns about data privacy. Today, we're taking control of our AI destiny by learning how to run Meta's powerful Llama 3.1 models, 8B1, right on our own computers. No more. ChatGPT is at capacity messages. No more data privacy concerns, just pure unadulterated AI power at your fingertips. Running LLMs locally means you're in the driver's seat. Your AI, your rules. Worried about data privacy? No third parties involved. Want ultimate control and customization? Running your own LLM gives you the flexibility to fine tune and experiment in ways online services don't allow. We'll be using Olama, a fantastic tool that makes running large language models locally shockingly easy. Step one, install Olama. Head over to olama.com and download the installer for your operating system. Olama simplifies the process of downloading and running large language models locally. Download the Olama package. Open your web browser and navigate to the Alama website. Choose your operating system. On the download page, select your operating system. For this example, we're using Mac OS, so click on the Mac OS download link to download the Alama Darwin.zip file. Step two, once the download is complete, go to your downloads folder or the folder where you saved the file. Double click on the Alama Darwin.zip file to unzip it. Step three, inside the unzipped folder, find Alama.app and double click on it to open the application. Then simply drag the olama.app folder into your applications folder. After launching the application, you'll be prompted to install the olama command line tool. Follow the on-screen instructions to complete the installation. Step four, after installing the command line tool, the application will prompt you to install the llama model. Since llama requires a model to function, Follow the on-screen instructions to download and install the necessary model. Step five, after the Llama model installation is complete, if it's not automatically start the Llama server. Just manually start the server by opening terminal for Mac user and typing the command, Olama serve. This command will start the Olama application as a server, allowing you to interact with the Llama model via API requests or from other applications. Llama 3.1 isn't just one model, it's a family. Besides the 8B model, there are larger versions like the 70B and the massive 405B. Llama 3.18B, great for general tasks. Llama 3.1 to 70B offers more power for complex tasks. 
Llama 3.1405B, the ultimate model demands a powerful machine. Hardware tips. Llama 3.1-8B can run on most modern computers. Llama 3.170B needs a more powerful setup with a decent GPU. Llama 3.1405B requires top-tier hardware like a high-end GPU with substantial VRAM and a lot of system RAM. Please refer to the ChatGPT response for the hardware requirements. Don't worry, I'll provide all the commands in the description below. For example, to download the 8B model, you'd type Olama pull Llama 3.1-8B. You can repeat this step for the 70B and even the 405B models if your hardware allows it. Step 6. With the server running, you can now interact with the Llama model directly from your local machine. You can execute Olama help Olama list, keeping your data private and under your control. You use the Olama run Llama 3.1 command to run the specified LLM Llama 3.1 and initiate its execution locally. Once started, try querying the LLM or you can start asking the LLM questions. You'll likely notice that the response time is quite good. Type by to exit. Step 7. Explore other LLMs. Optional. We've set up Llama 3.1, but Olama has even more to offer. Let's check out other models you can run locally. Olama offers a library of other impressive LLMs you can install. Head over to hpsolama.com library to explore different models. Mistral Nemo by Mistral AI in collaboration with NVIDIA. Phi 3 state-of-the-art open models by Microsoft. Dolphin Llama 3B by Eric Hartford based on Llama 3, Lava Llama 3. A multimodal model fine-tuned. Switching models is easy. Just replace the model name in the Olama run command. Pull the new model using Olama pull Mistral. Run the model using Olama run Mistral. Stop any other running models if needed. Step 8. Install Docker if you don't have it. Docker helps manage our AI environment. Visit docker.com and download the appropriate version for your system. Step 9. To get a chat GPT-like user interface, instead of using a terminal window, you can install Open Web UI. Open Web UI provides a user-friendly interface that makes it easy to interact with your Llama model in a more intuitive and accessible way. Go to pitagithub.com slash openwebui slash openwebui and follow the installation instructions, user-friendly web UI for LLMs, formerly Olama Web UI. Copy the command from Open Web UI in your terminal screen. Type docker run d3000 8080. Add host tools host.docker host gateway v open web ui slash backend data name open dash web ui restart always ghr.io slash open up web ui main once you return to docker desktop you'll notice a new process running and it will provide a link clicking this link which points to localhost 3000 8080 or a similar port will open a new page on your computer this page is running locally in your browser, not on any external website. You'll need to sign up for an Open Web UI account to use this interface. If you already have an account, simply log in. Now that it's running, you can manage it from Docker Desktop. If you ever want to stop the process, just hit the Stop button in Docker, which will halt the page running in your browser. Step 10. Once in the Open Web UI, all setup steps are complete. The first thing you'll want to do is choose a model within your local host, 3000 interface. You can select from previously installed models, like Llama 3.1, and even set one as your default so you don't have to select it every time. For example, you might choose the Llama 3.1-8B model, and after turning off your Wi-Fi to ensure everything is running privately, you can send a prompt like what's the difference between Llama 3.18B and Llama 3.170B. Now we have new level of AI freedom and privacy. With local Llama 3.1 setup, we're no longer at the mercy of server outages or data privacy concerns. Now go explore the amazing potential of these models and let me know what incredible things you create in the comments below. Download my free cheat sheet with all the commands and resources mentioned in this video. If you enjoyed the content, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.